Just hours after Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds signed a new transgender bathroom bill, Iowa schools are scrambling to comply with the law. KCAU 9 reporter Tyler Huchner tonight taking a look at what that bill does and how some Siouxland schools are working with families with transgender students. It's our top story this evening at 10. On Wednesday, Governor Kim Reynolds signed into law a bill that prohibits transgender students from using the bathroom or facilities that align with their gender identity. Instead, they must use the bathroom that matches the sex on their birth certificate. I, I received an, an email message and she has a first grade grandchild who is transgender, who ha when she has gone to that school has always presented as female and she's now expected to go into the boys room. The bill took into effect immediately when Governor Reynolds signed it and now Siouxland schools are dealing with concerned parents and guardians of students who will be affected by this law. The only thing that we've done now is communicated with the students and families that it's affected um, and then talk about the change of plans and, and what Governor Reynolds signed into law. Karen Mackey with the Siouxland Pride Alliance says this bill is a solution without a problem. So it's actually going to problems for some of these children who maybe no one had realized they were transgender before. Now, because they're going to have to wait and use a different bathroom or use a bathroom that does not align with how they present, uh, that's going to cause all sorts of problems. Mackie fears this bill will put a target on transgender students. Putting a child who identifies as one gender and that's how they present, having them have to use a bathroom that does not align with that, um, that has the potential of then queuing in bullies to the fact that this is a child who is different, who is transgender. Gutstauer says, well, change is difficult for many. The Hinton Community School District hopes to ensure all students are treated equally. You know, uh, our students are our students, meaning that we're going to support our students in whatever capacity um, is, is allowable. The bill does allow parents to request special accommodations for their students, such as using faculty or single occupant restrooms. Tyler Uchner, KCAU 9 News.